All right, everybody, welcome back to Beans No Ball. The, the news keep coming. As we've been talking, we're expecting all the wide receiver news. Got some running back to shake it up a bit. Christian McCaffrey now getting his extension that I guess we've probably been expecting for what it's worth to. Two more years, $19 million a year as it was reported. So that makes it, what, like $38 million a year? Uh, it definitely, that. definitely is, you know, something that we, that, you know, he's obviously worth. A little surprising to see running backs getting paid as much as we've seen that that market kind of take a hit. But it is Christian McCaffrey. He is just that utility knife that definitely warrants it. I mean, he's up from $12 million that he had from that Panthers deal. So, I mean, Christian, we think of running back finally getting paid. Yeah, honestly, look, it's Christian McCaffrey. He's obviously, look, he's the number one running back in the league, without a doubt here. So, all that money going to them, it's going to be really worth it here. But it's still going to draw a lot of questions for this 49ers team when it comes to a Uke's contract. And not even a U2 with the money that it's going to be for the future of Brock Purdy's contract as well. But this really is drawing the concern for IU here. All the money going, it's gone. I don't even know if Ayuk's going to get a contract at this point for the Niners. Yeah, I mean, that's probably, you know, something that we're, we really are expecting. I think we uh, some reports came out. Uh, if he doesn't show up in the next three days to OTAs, which, you know, probably expect him to not, he'll be fined, uh, I think, like 104K, something like upwards of that amount, which... It doesn't really matter. It's, you know, it's pennies to the money they're technically going to end up making. But, I mean, it's still, you know, it's, it shows to, to the situation that, that's that's at hand right now with the 49ers. And, you know, uh, we, we kind of go back to it. It kind of sounds like a broken record at times that we talk about this this deal so much. But it, it just seems imminent that we're just waiting for Brenda to be dealt at this moment. and Or if John Lynch just uh, ends up giving a deal. But it's very very unexpected if i'm being honest just because of this i mean the cap situation that the niners are probably going to be in after all these contracts they just keep handing out and more that they're going to need to yeah so honestly you can expect that i i, I to be gone here because like they already they already pretty much went down to the dumps after they paid nick post all that money so they're like their cap situation is already kind of kind of going a little bit downhill there and then the, and then the contract they gave McCaffrey right now for the extension obviously like you said that cap situation for them it's going to be a little scary for them to come in the near future so with really for iu I would expect them to be in another team sooner or later here. And some more Cowboys use that with Micah Parsons. He has no problem waiting uh, for the market to keep going up for the... Pretty sure he's going to get the contract money for the defensive end position rather than linebacker. And he's just going to keep on waiting and waiting because he does expect to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the league here. And sure, you know, <clears throat> I would love for Micah to do that here, but with the Cowboys situation, with their cap space and the money that they have, they still got to pay CD. They're probably going to look at to pay Dak, depending if he has a good season or not. And they start to pay Micah in line. Micah's, I think Micah's, right now, I think he's third out of the, the, those three right now. As much as I really want that to happen, the contract for Micah, I don't expect it to be a really huge looking at the scenario with the Cowboys right now. Yeah, honestly, I mean, it's, it's like, basically like that report says, you know, he'll, he'll wait as much as he needs, you know, the, the market will keep reshifting and he'll, I mean, he expects to be the highest non highest paid non-quarterback uh, in the league, which obviously, you know, for his time and by the way the market's been going i definitely do expect that too yeah. but i think we'll bring it back real quick to I me mean, you know actually maybe maybe talk a little bit about you know the the mccaffrey in itself i think we kind of diverted just to actually talk about you know the niner situation but as a whole you know christian mccaffrey i think i think the important thing to talk about is you know where we're finally seeing a running back get paid yeah i look the whole market situation with the running backs these past couple years He's been giving a boatload of money to them. They either, you know, they either have a shitter for the next couple of years they play, or they just happen to get injured, which is the unfortunate outcome here. Which, of but, course, it kind of is big with big reason because of our two running backs with yeah. Todd Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott, yep, two guys exactly. that got major contracts and didn't pan out, kind of turned into that that whole thing. You could also attribute it to Le'Veon Bell situation, but right now it, it's it's definitely just I mean we see the the meteoric rise Christian McCaffrey's gone he went from that I mean it's the same thing when he got his contract in 2020 uh, I believe it was 12 million dollars a year something like that you know he's he was still injury prone he was he was facing those exact same uh same same problems and I mean he's definitely kind of starting to shed that that injury prone type type uh type of label that he's been getting so I mean definitely maybe you know it might take a little bit longer for some of these running backs to really prove that you know they're worth that deal but i mean christian mccaffrey kind of shows that it's definitely possible yeah i'm, I'm, I'm it's the, this is christian mccaffrey we're talking about here so obviously you know it's still going to be quite some time here for another running back to get the money that he's getting there because look 
I know a lot of teams, they're still probably frustrated with the, you know, the whole running back marquee, even the running backs themselves. But, hey, look, stuff like that happened with the Ezekiel Elliott and Todd Gurley's contract, like how you mentioned. That was kind of the downfall for the contract issue for the running backs here. But this is Christian McCaffrey we're talking about here. He's well-deserved for that money. Really, I do expect him to you know, have another great season in the, in the next couple months. But I would still, you know, I still think it's going to be a, a little bit more time for another running back to get that big payday. Yeah, absolutely. And it's... I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the, the thing about this is, you know, I mean, Chris McCaffrey's definitely just been like, you know, the outlier in itself. I mean, you know, reigning offensive player of the year. We'll see if some someone else gets to, you know, match that match that level more than anything. And uh, one last bit of news before we go. Uh, something a little little more out there, but I mean, definitely, definitely worth talking about. I mean, Hassan Reddick been definitely uh, a weird situation with him in the Jets. Seems that he's just gone no contact with the team. Obviously, you know, he's not going to OTAs, but that's not really newsworthy. Most stars kind of skip out on that, especially if they're looking for a deal. But I guess that's probably what, what Hassan Reddick's looking at. He, I guess, might want a new deal with the Jets. Want Probably just uh, holding out for some more money. A bit surprising that he's not even going to talk to his head coach. Yeah, honestly, this is really surprising for from you know from everything that's going on with Hassan Reddick. I think at this point, this is just a little bit too petty. I mean, every player is doing it. Look, they're holding up from camps. They're not talking to anybody. This is also this. This usually it happens every year with you know big player, big name players like that that want their contract. They're not going to be doing that, and it's, it's he's literally going to go back to talk to him in the next couple weeks here. Here, but you know, to me, I think it's just petty. But I mean, Hassan Reddick, he is one of the best players in the league here, so obviously he's another player that deserves a well rounded contract for the team. Yeah, absolutely, and that's gonna basically wrap up, you know, the news for the day. Obviously, you know, headliner with McCaffrey, but some other stuff definitely worth talking about. And you know, like we say, you know, definitely still expecting a lot of the contracts that we mentioned in the last video. A lot of contracts probably still gonna be coming, so keep an eye out for those videos. And I'll do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys back for more off-season content.